Hey guys, welcome back. This weekend we have some New Zealand rugby back again. I'm pretty excited about that and you're probably as well. That's why you're in this video. The Highlanders versus the Crusaders, the first one on Friday. Uh, in the two teams' pre-seasons, the Hurricanes were beaten by the Highlanders. Then the Highlanders just lost to the Crusaders in that little uh, Farmland Cup they played, 28-26, to 26, so very close margins there. The Crusaders preseason, they beat the Chiefs uh, pretty far, or actually by 7 points, and then they lost to the Blues in the preseason as well, pretty close there as well. History-wise between the two teams, it is in the Crusaders' favour, easily in their favour actually, the Highlanders... Haven't been too great in this last couple of years, but judging from their preseason, stuff is looking a bit better for them now. Guys, join the Super Brew Pool if you do want to join the predictions. Let's get into the teams for this weekend. Getting into the props, that very strong uh, front row for the Crusaders with Moody, Taylor and Alan Alalatoa versus Daniel Leonard Brown, Dixon and Tokalai. That front row of the Highlanders they got a little bit better at the end of last year Dixon uh, especially played really well at the end of last year getting a couple of tries from mall time judging from how the front rows do look though the Crusaders you can never uh, say that they are second best between these two because that is a very strong one there Cody Taylor he's probably going to have an impressive game as well at line out time especially because he's throwing into the two All Blacks Scott Barrett and Whitelock, they are back at a partnership again for the Crusaders and that's just going to be great for them. They are up against Dixon and Regan in the lock, so that again, Crusaders are probably favourites in that aspect of the play again, but you never know. The Highlanders coach did talk about something they really worked on in preseason was line-out time. Getting to the loose play, getting to the loose forwards, you get Blackadder at number 6 versus Frizzell. Fazel probably one of the best number sixes in New Zealand rugby. So really a guy that can change a game for the Highlanders. At number seven, Harmon versus Christie. Christie, a guy to look out for. Still very young. Cullen Grace, also very young. Those two are standout players for the Crusaders. Last year, they were impressive. Both of them got all black selections, if I remember correctly. I don't know if either of them actually played. You can maybe correct me. I my memory is failing me at the moment. Mikaeli Tuu at number 8. That guy was also very impressive at number 8. Cullen Grace, he's out of position. He usually doesn't play number 8. So how he goes up against Mikaeli Tuu is going to be an interesting thing. But he's just going to pick up that ball and run it for the Highlanders. At number 9, a very interesting matchup as well with Hall versus Smith. Smith, we know what he can do. Last year, he was probably in the form of his life. And that's saying something because we know what he can do. And he is, he is getting up there in age. He's also talking about DuPont probably being the best number nine in world rugby at the moment in France. A guy like Aaron Smith is going to improve his game if there's a guy that he thinks he should uh, gun for at the top of the number nine ranking. So I expect a big season from this guy. And number 10, Mitch Hunt. I thought he had a brilliant season last year. He's up against Mohunga. This is going to be a big game between them because both of them are very similar number 10s. Like attacking the line, like getting the little gaps. Both of them have quick feet, get good passes through, get a lot of cross kicks through as well. And good off of the tee. Then at number 12, McLeod. He gets a rare start for the Crusaders. That is because Enor is injured and that's probably going to be a bit of a long injury. Up against Tomkinson. He also had a good season last year. I thought he played brilliantly. Uh, unfortunately for the guy, he does play pretty hard and does tend to get a couple of yellow cards in his name. He did get that last year as well. So hopefully for him, that does decrease in this year. Number 13 is Punivai versus Goodyear. Goodyear, I thought he didn't have the best season last year. Probably has some room to improve Punivai. He kind of picked up his pace at the end of last year, played a little bit better there. On the wings, Sevo Reese and Fainga Anuku, two very good wingers for the Crusaders. Obviously, we know what Reese can do. He can just score from anywhere, run in amazing tries. So if you do play fantasy as well, I'm so happy we can play fantasy again. I almost forgot how it works. So that's the type of guy you captain because he gets a lot of points for you. 
Uh, he he's just has a knack of scoring tries. Fahinga Anuku, I don't think we have seen the best of this guy. And there is better to come from him. On the wings for Highlanders, they have Garden Bashup and then Nareki. Nareki, in the end of last year, we, sh we saw what he can do on attack. Really started doing his thing, cutting through the line and stuff like that. But something he does get caught out a lot on is not being in his position on defense and then tries do slip through. Defending on the channel of Severis, you cannot afford not to be there. So maybe he did pick that up, but I don't know. Defensively, I still have a couple of questions for him. Will Jordan on number 15 for the Crusaders? We know what he can do. Probably one of the best uh, number 15s we have currently in the game. He is in for Avili because Avili is being rested some... Well, he has a concussion, so he's out for the week. Ale Malo, he plays the first game for the Highlanders. It's good to see him at number 15. At the Chiefs, a lot of times you did see what he can do, but did sometimes he just didn't get enough game time with them. So I'm happy to see he's probably going to get a bit more game time with the Highlanders. Coming on to the benches. On the benches, I probably do say the Highlanders have a better bench with guys like Coltman on there, Liam Squire or All Black that can just tear up a field when he does come onto the park. They also have a guy like Josh Ioane who also comes onto the park and I mean, it's rare to see a guy like that being benched, but Mitch Hunt is in good form. Then for the Crusaders, the guys that really stand out for them is probably Quinton Strange, who started a large chunk of last season, and Mitch Drummond. Further than that, it's just youngsters for the Crusaders, but we know what youngsters for the Crusaders can do. Guys, going into predictions, yes, they were close uh, a couple of times this, in the preseason. The Highlanders, they did beat the Hurricanes in the preseason as well. But we're in a different place now. The Crusaders are in a competitive competition now. We know what they do in that. Yes, sometimes in Super Rugby they do tend to start slowly and pick up the pace later on. But this is a different type of competition. A much a quicker or a shorter competition. So I do think the Crusaders will start fast here. Crusaders to win this one by 12 points. I don't know what you think. Let me know your prediction down in the comments below. Also, check out these videos next to me. There's a lot of rugby this weekend. And then hit the subscribe button. Cheers.